Well, we're here for the finals of the 2016 Golden Horseshoe Crocona Tournament, and it is quite the pairing we have here today. John Conrad shooting the black disc against Andrew Hudson shooting the red as they face off in this best of three match to determine the winner of this Hamilton title. John Conrad with the hammer in this first round, looking very strong. Two discs on the board. Hutchinson's ricochet attempt crashes on a peg. Open shot for John Conrad. And he makes the first 20 of this match. Tough shot for Hutchinson, trying to score back. His rebound attempt leaves a bit of an opening for John Conrad. Take out from Conrad leaves Slight hanger here, a tough shot for Hutchinson to try to score. And he misses, so another opportunity for John Conrad. <laughs> An unorthodox but effective John Conrad now goes up 220s to none. Andrew Hudson in tough shape here, three shots left for both players. Complicated center now. Uh, John Connor will simplify. Takes out one red disc, one black disc. Strong take up from Conrad. And that will pretty much seal up this first round. Last shot of the round here. John Conrad makes it look easy to start off with anyway. He goes up 2 nothing. It's quite, quite the interesting shot that, that uh, turned out uh, in that round that really pushed him over the edge. He was trying to get a simple uh, hanger 20 to go, but uh, ended up hitting another black disc and he got the rebound to work out. On a follow through attempt there from Andrew Hudson. Just goes a little awry, chance now for Conrad. Just hits over top of the red disc. A couple of nice take there from Andrew Hutchinson. He tried to make a 20 off his first shot. It's now switched to be a little bit more defensive here. With the hammer, he's uh, trying to stay away from that center hole. It's a tough takeout to go. John Conrad, the follow through ricochet just goes short. Andrew Hudson doesn't like the angle here, but has a chance to score 20. Oh, when he was going for the takeout and the 20, he leaves it close. Conrad, similarly, a very tough shot. He'll just miss. Oh, and that disc, it looked like it would stop for Andrew Hudson. It looked like he hit it on the nose, but it rolled a little bit more. John Conrad just misses. Andrew Hudson with the hammer here. He can score a 20, he'll pretty much seal up the victory for this round. Yes, what a great shot there from Andrew Hudson. Last shot for each player. John Conrad gets a great 20 to go as well. Andrew Hutchinson just got to stick it in the middle, which he does. So he ties up this first game at two points each. Two, two. <laughs> now Andrew Hutchinson to start off this third round. He ends with a 20. Conrad misses long. Each game consists of four rounds, so these players will be looking to try to get five points in order to secure the victory in a round. John Conrad makes that 20. And that red disc is there for another 20 for John Conrad, but Andrew Hutchison does well to take that away, scoring a 20. Leaving his disc further back, but John Conrad responds with a fantastic rebound shot there. Andrew Hutchison settling back in, scores a 20. A couple of great shots here from both players. The rebound wasn't quite there for John Conrad that time. 
Andrew Hutchinson up a 20 here. Three shots left for each player in this round. Andrew Hutchinson can make a commanding lead here and score this 20. Oh, and it bounces out. Chance for Conrad. Just missing. So Hutchinson tries to do with this one. Nice hit, and he rolls away from the middle. So a long ricochet attempt here for John Conrad. And he makes it. The shots from this round have been unreal so far. Last shot now for each player, Hutchinson. Realizing Conrad's got the hammer here. Hutchinson needs to score this 20. And secure the round, but he misses. John Conrad will be waiting, and Hutchinson gets it. Clutch shots there from Andrew Hudson. <laughs> And he uh, is rewarded. 4-2 leads. One point away from securing this win in this first game. John Connor with a couple of great shots he made in that round, but Hutchinson stayed very, very strong. S extremely solid on those open 20 attempts. Now he's earned an opportunity with the hammer here. John Connor going short on the first shot. Hutchinson missing. Second chance attempt for Conrad. He gets the 20 to go. Oh, Andrew Hutchinson was so solid in that last round on all those open 20s. Now he's left another opportunity for Conrad. John Conrad makes that one. Another one left short. John Conrad hitting. Looks like he was going for the 20. He wasn't too worried about getting the takeout, but he ends up costing him a little. Now there's three red discs on, so Andrew Hutchinson will have a chance. Interesting situation developing now. Andrew Hutchinson, Hutchinson needs to at least score a 20 or find a way to keep a lot of red discs on the board here. Down two 20s with the hammer. Three shots left now. John Conrad needs to find a double takeout or a 20. And that one does not work for him. Another opportunity for Andrew Hudson to put another red disc on the board. He'll probably try to slide this one into the 10. He does behind a peg. Another double takeout attempt here from John Conrad, most likely. Hits and rolls over, so that'll make things a little bit tougher for Andrew Hutchinson. Hutchinson needs to find 40 points on the board here somehow. Oh, now he's counting. Looks like 1 in the 5 and 3 in the 10. John Conrad. Looks like he was eyeing 1 in the 10 there, but smartest shot is the one he just picked there. Lands it in the 5, so Andrew Hudson is facing a basically impossible chance. He's got to find a way to get 40 points on the board here. Right now he only has 30. He takes out this black disc. It'll just be 35, so it looks like he's trying to raise. Just some calculations. He's going to have to find a way to raise that red disc. Somebody have to find an angle to squeak it into the 15. I really don't think the shot's there. Uh, it wasn't there, but he had to try it. So John Conrad answers back and levels this first game at four points each. So we're headed to a fifth round. We need to determine a winner of this first game of this best three match. Hutchison to shoot first. Missing long on the 20. Advantage swings over to John Conrad. Hutchison will have to find a way back into the middle here. Perhaps now he'll try a rebound. And he tried it and he was so, so close to being successful. John Conrad makes him pay. Goes up a 20. Andrew Hudson finds his range back in the middle. <laughs> Five shots left for each player there. Having a little bit of fun about uh, John Conrad's specific strategy that he likes to employ when he's uh, has the advantage in a round. Rather than shooting for another 20, he's just trying to find a way to limit his opponent's opportunities to score. 
bit of a mistake there. He doesn't get that red disc off the board. But if you can find a way to make a double takeout, he will be fine. Oh no, and an unfortunate case there for John Connor. It looked like he was trying to score a 20, and it totally backfires. So Andrew Hutchinson now up a 20. All the momentum is swinging over to him here. Two red discs on the board. John Connor tried to double take up, but he's got to find a way to score a 20 here. Hutchinson hits and rolls to a great spot. John Connor needs to take it on a 20. Can't get it to go, so Andrew Hutchison didn't look like he was going to win that round, but he found a way to do it, and he takes the first game 6-4. to four. Here we are starting off game number two. John Conrad going short on his first shot. Andrew Hutchison just missing on the far side. So John Conrad has been so good on those hangers, and he makes another one. Level 120 each. Unfortunate bounce out there for Andrew Hudson. John Conrad scores another one as you would expect he would. Andrew Hudson makes a nice shot there. Four shots left for each player. Hudson trying to roll onto the pegs and get a rebound. John Conrad's going to bury this one further back, so it looks like Hutchinson is going to be forced to peel. Down a 20 with the hammer. Hutchinson has to find a way to get the play back into the middle, but only got two shots to do it. He peels off this one. Conrad puts his disc in a tough spot. Hutchinson needs to take it on a 20 here on this last shot. Conrad's put that in a really great spot to take away the angle. Get it done. So John Conrad goes up 2 nothing here. Conrad needs a win in this game to force a third and decisive game to stay in this match. Hutchinson starts off this round well. Another disc lands short for John Conrad and his open 20 attempts. The same uh, instance occurred in the first round of this Second game. Hutchinson trying to eye a long ricochet and he just goes over top of the hole. John Conrad trying to convert these two discs on, but Andrew Hutchinson, double takeout. Clears the board right off. Chance for Conrad to level it, and he does. Three shots left for each player here. Conrad with the hammer. Bounces out for Hutchison. Just been hitting those open 20 attempts a little bit too hard. Oh, and Andrew Hutchison, he had the right angle, but he caught a piece of the peg. Didn't touch the red disc on the way by. And that will give John Conrad all the room he needs. Let's take this second round, and he's up 4 nothing in Game 2. Looking good, and his chances to extend the match into a third game. Kind of right here. Starting off well in this third round. Hepson just missing long. Nice roll there from John Conrad. Not only does he bring it the play outside of the center. This is a pretty good disc to try to hide, and Hutchison has a bit of an error, but Conrad gives Hutchison another chance. Hutchison can't convert the hanger. Hit and roll for John Conrad. Puts his red disc right off the board, which he was probably okay with. Forces Hutchison to peel. Hutchison Looking for a 20. This is a similar instance to the last round. Of course, he's got a few more shots to try to convert one. Bit of a mistake there from John Conrad. 
Leaving a black disc on, it's going to count as a 5 right now. Two shots left for each player. Oh, and another mistake from Conrad. He leaves that red disc close to the hole. Chance for Hutchinson. He'll make it 20. Last shot of the round for each player, and Hutchinson with the hammer here. He's a takeout and a stick, which he gets. So, Andrew Hutchinson was behind in that round, but he comes back. He's got two points. Needs to win this fourth round to force a fifth round tiebreaker. John Conrad with the hammer. Hutchinson missing long and a bit wide in his first shot. Nice hit and roll there from John Conrad. Rolls on the tough part of the board in between those two pegs. Forces the mistake from Hutchinson. Conrad with an open board. He'll just miss a little bit long. See what Hutchinson tries to do here, and he makes a great follow through shot. A great shot from Andrew Hutchinson. John Conrad missing on that 20 attempt. So we'll have an interesting scenario develop here. Mistake there from Andrew Hutchinson. He doesn't get the takeout, but he's left his black disc in a really, really good spot. The easiest path is covered by Conrad's own red disc. So it's a bit dangerous to try to make the takeout if you're John Conrad. He's gonna go for it here. It looks like he's trying to line it up. And he gets it. That was a great takeout there from John Conrad. Four shots left for each player. Hutchinson. Probably like his position if he could see a way to make a double takeout. He didn't see when he went for a 20. That was a really tough shot, but he almost got it to go. Would have been fantastic for him to get another follow through. Oh, but here's a chance. John Conrad tried to hit and roll away there. A chance for Andrew Hutchinson. And he makes it. Conrad now needs this 20, and he gets that one too. Last shot of the round here. John Conrad only needs one point in this fourth round to win game two. Andrew Hutchinson sees that. Hutchinson's up at 20 here, but John Conrad's got one disc in the 10 and one in the 5. So Hutchinson looks like he's going to hit this one in the 5 here. But it's a chance for Conrad. He's a takeout and a rollover into the 10, and he gets it. So John Conrad gets just what he needs there in that final round. He was up 4 nothing in that second game. But he's able to hold on, and he wins game 2-5-3, forces his third game. Andrew Hutchinson starts it off with a 20. Pressure is building now. These are the crucial shots. Hutchinson missing short. Conrad goes up. Let's see what Andrew Hutchinson tries to do here. Looks like he's going to try to play defensive. And try to force an error from John Conrad. Trying to roll in behind the pegs. John Conrad comfortably taking these off. Hutchinson rolling in, but unsuccessful. Last shot of the round. For each player, Hutchinson needs a big follow through. He's had a couple. That one. It won't go for a 20, but it's not the easiest spot. Conrad needs the hit and stick. And he gets it. Cool shooting there from John Conrad. A lot of tough takeouts he had to make. He's rewarded with the two points. Starts off here. Second round. Short on the first 20 attempt. Hutchinson can't convert the hanger. Oh, and that one just sailed right off the board. It didn't look like Hutchinson hit it that bad, but it just hit and just continued to slide right off the board. Conrad missing an opportunity there. 
20 attempt going short. Hutchison. A bit of an error there. He doesn't get the takeout. Still in okay shape, though, with the hammer here. And now he'll put Conrad back to work. Conrad will miss that shot. Fall through 20 attempt there. Moves, but not enough. And now a short ricochet here for John Conrad. He gets the 20. Doesn't get the takeout, though, so Hutchison put himself in a good spot if he makes it. He does. Last shot of the round here. Long ricochet now for John Conrad. Oh, yeah, the right line, as you can see, but not enough weight. So hit and stick here for Andrew Hutchison. And he makes it. Great shooting here. No sign of nerves so far. We're tied 2-2 in this third game. These two players know each other well from the uh, Waterloo Crokinole Club. Conrad missing that 20 attempt long. Hutchinson gets the takeout to go. John Conrad's shot there. Lands a little short. Chance for Hutchinson here. Oh, and his 20 attempt. A bit unlucky. It bounces out. And Conrad bounces out too. He was probably eyeing a double takeout and a 20, but it didn't work for him. Longer ricochet here. And John Conrad makes another one. He made one of those in the first game. He makes it here in the third game. That was a big shot. Conrad was eyeing the double takeout. Should be satisfied with the result, though. He's got the hammer. Now he gets a double take up, but this time he leaves his shooter close to the hole. This is a tough hanger, but it is there if Andrew Hutchinson can make it. I can't quite get it. So last shot of the round here, Andrew Hutchinson. Needs to put the pressure on. He'll have to make a double takeout and a 20, but he can't get it to go. So John Conrad came through with that really, really strong shot, that long ricochet he made. Almost identical to the one in game one. And he leads 4-2. He needs a point in this fourth round to win the Golden Horseshoe title. Starts off with a 20. Hutchinson gets his to go. Conrad makes that one as well. Hutchinson just a little bit wide. Conrad misses. Some chance here for Andrew Hutchinson. This is a big shot. Really needs to make this one. He just misses, so Conrad now. Short ricochet. And he gets it. Hutchinson leaves another one, and Conrad makes him pay. <laughs> and another one short here, too. So Hutchinson looks like he's, he's going to get burned for just losing a bit of the touch on his uh, open 20 rhythm. But some fantastic shooting, and another great shot there. As John Conrad looks like he's going to seal it. Some great work here today, and John Conrad has come away with the 2016 Golden Horseshoe Pro Tournament title.